This is Cincinnati's first and only all local morning news. Fox 19 Morning News, first for news. Well, the success of the swan has a lot of people, a lot of women especially, yeah. considering plastic surgery. Uh, we're going to talk with a local doctor to see if that's the right decision for you and what exactly can plastic surgery do. We'll also tell you about uh, the swan. It's a big hit. You've seen the transformations. The question, is that making more Americans considering plastic surgery? Realistically, what can plastic surgeons do and is it right for you? And most importantly, how much does it cost? Mm -hmm. Surgery for you. Joining us this morning with his expertise and thoughts is Dr. Michael Ledbetter of the Plastic Surgery Group. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. What do you think about that show? I mean, these women were transformed dramatically. Let's roll the video. I mean, when you see them up on the stage in last night's pageant, they look like they belong there. But can we see the video? Uh, when we look at them on stage in last night's show, they look like they belong there. That was not the case a couple of months ago. Your thoughts? Well, that's true. I think one of the biggest problems that we have in relationship to reality programs is that it's very difficult for the public to see everything that really goes into the development of this type of a situation. Correct. Plastic surgery has advanced so rapidly that our technology offers the public just about anything they want. Sure. The question is, we need to put this in perspective for people. This is real surgery with real complications. It has real upsides and downsides, and it can have a tremendous impact on an individual's life, both positively and negatively. Yeah, let's talk about, uh, you know, we, 10 women on stage, uh, they went through an enormous amount of plastic surgery. What we didn't see is all the pain that they went through, the recovery that they went through, and the hard work and the operation that they went through. So you just see the end result, and you think it's so easy, but it's not the case, correct? It's not the case. It's uh, something that is a tremendous investment in a person's life. Uh, they take a tremendous risk in doing this type of surgery, especially the quantity of surgery they've done. What a lot of people don't see in these programs is the tremendous effort that goes on the sides. Sure. Personal coaches, cosmetic dentistry, hair, fashion consultants, personal trainers. The question is, once this is all said and done, and they've been paraded before the American public, they have to go back to their normal way of life. Right. Now, we have a tremendous ability to change people's lives for the good. But I think we have to keep in perspective, we have created a situation with reality television that makes people think this is like going to the grocery store. Absolutely. This is not like going to the grocery store. It's real surgery with real dangers. Uh, it can affect a person's personality tremendously and for the negative. In these cases, I watched the program last night and I thought actually the program was very well done. Uh, I was impressed with the positivity of these women that went through this, but I just wonder what it's doing to the psyche of millions of other young girls out there in the world that think that this will be the answer for them for the future. That's a really good point, but um, we don't want to, on the other hand, we don't want to belittle just uh, how important how you look translates to how you feel about yourself, correct? Oh, I don't think that's, that's absolutely true. I think as plastic surgeons, uh, if this type of surgery is done safely, we can make a tremendous impact on a person's life. Let's take a person, for instance, who's the top salesman in his business, uh -huh. and he's in an automobile accident, Sure. and he has some severe injuries. He's very much based on first impression. If we can make that person better, help them to give their confidence back again, make a tremendous impact on their lives. And in 10 seconds, can you tell me, uh, you said it's come a long way in terms of uh, what we're able to do in plastic surgery. I'd assume it's come a long ways in terms of who's able to get plastic surgery. It's just not for the very rich and for the very famous. Absolutely not. I think that's the misconception today, is that we see television and we assume that everybody who does this type of thing is wealthy. In fact, most people who do this type of surgery are middle class individuals who will forego a vacation yeah. to have surgery done that they may impact their lives. All right, Dr. Michael Ledbetter of the Plastic Surgery Group. Thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, we have much more of the Plastic 19 Morning News to come.